Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We're going to be doing a little review here of these Black Widow ramps, and I hope it's of some value to you. Uh, please stay tuned to the end. I've got some extremely important final thoughts and some very valuable lessons learned. Well, hey guys. You know, Rox and me, we're planning to take a trip back over to uh, Mount Rushmore here uh, Memorial Day weekend. Go over and stay in a cabin this time, but uh, we want to ride those roads over there in and around Rushmore and uh, Sturgis area. And I think what's going to be fun is going back over there when it's not as busy. I'm sure there'll be a fair number of motorcycles as there are most riding seasons over there, but I think that uh, be a little less crowded, might be a lot more fun. And so what I'm gonna do is load the bike up here in my pickup. What I decided to do was go ahead and buy me a bike ramp so that I could uh, put the bike up in the truck, take it in and out safely, and, and I feel comfortable using. Uh, I decided to go with this uh, Black Widow ramp. So I'm gonna go out here and uh, take a look at it, bring it in, you know, maybe just uh, tear this thing open, see what it looks like, maybe show you guys what I've got. Well, I ordered it through Amazon. I mean, by the time you ordered it straight from uh, one of these online dealers, uh, you can get a little less expensive, but the challenge is that uh, by the time you pay freight and taxes and whatnot, you know, I can use my prime Amazon account and get it for about the same price and still feel comfortable getting it through Amazon. I've had such good luck, um, you know, buying things through Amazon over the years. I think it weighs somewhere around 60, seven, well, there it is, 81 pounds in the carton. So I'm going to uh, drag this thing around into the garage and uh, bust it open. See what? You know, I got this uh, ramp drug in here in the garage. The garage is really small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this truck out of here, uh, maybe pull the bumblebee off the lift, and basically just use the lift as a little work surface here. Let me get this ramp out. Oops. Let's bust this thing open, see what we got. All right, so this is a Black Widow folding arch three-piece motorcycle ramp. But if you buy it straight from discount ramps, I think it's uh, maybe 600 bucks, but you end up paying freight. So, you know, I just felt more comfortable just go ahead and ordering it through Amazon. So basically it's made up of three aluminum sections, and I know there's a rod that goes through and ties them all together. One section a little bit wider than the other, so I assume these are the outside pieces and the piece that the bike actually rides up on in the middle. But first, let's get this thing mocked up on the pickup, just see how it lines up. Okay, so I've got this rod. Basically, it slides through all three sections. We'll take this little pin and pin it on the other end of the rod. All right, so that's what ties them together. Got a little bit of a hump here in the middle, which I'm sure helps alleviate the bike bottoming out. If this was one complete straight slope, we'd have a, a much uh, tougher angle right here. The instructions tell me to come back and cinch these two straps up on these main rails somewhere around two, two and a half feet back from the beginning of the ramp. All right, so we'll snug these up on the hitch. We'll tighten them up. And that is going to give us a secure, it's gonna start coming up the ramp. The back wheel starts to spin if it spins at all on these uh, aluminum slats. Won't pull the ramp off the back of the pickup. I've got these stripes tied off here. And I'll tell you what, I really don't like them, and I'm gonna tell you why. They're not ratchet straps, it's just basically the strength that I can pull in tension to tighten them up. Okay guys, so like I said, I'm not real pleased with these straps. I'm gonna get rid of them. I'm gonna buy me a pair of good quality ratchet straps, something that I can snug up, uh, you know, to hold this ramp on. I'm not about to take any risks based on, you know, my age and my bikes and the investment I've got. It only takes one bad accident to ruin a really good motorcycle trip. And I'm not, you know, when I got a little better daylight, we'll go out in the morning, we'll load the bike up on the ramp and we'll just test it out. We'll ride up on there, park it, back it back down. But first, what I wanna do is show you how I secure this wheel chalk 
into my pickup. And it's the same wheel chalk that I use uh, for my Harbor Freight uh, motorcycle lift. And so basically I've got two of them. And so one is secured to the lift, one I take and use for other purposes like this. All right guys, so what I do is I've got a five foot two before and I've used it before because you can see where I've had the lag bolts in it once before. Now five foot is, is what I've got as far as a flat, clear surface in the bed of the truck ahead of uh, uh, the wheel wells. So, you know, it gets pretty secure there. And then when I tie down my straps, I don't really bolt this down to the bed of the truck, but I've got hooks in the truck that allows me to strap it in. And this will always be ahead of the wheel well. So I'm not gonna lose the bike out in that way. I've got that legged down to this five foot board. And then I also, I'm gonna, I generally will take and put a small two before just to keep this structure all at the same level. All right, so I've got to put these chalk pieces back in, you know, the stop piece up front and then the tilt piece in the back. And then I'll try to bring this up as close as I can. You know, this piece will be off. I, don't, I won't have the tonneau cover on here. So basically just to limit the fender from touching anything. And so what this allows me to do is I'll strap it, tie the bike off with the same straps I use on the lift from here up to the forks. And then, and then back here, I'll do the same thing. I'll tie off to the back and that secures the bike. Two weeks later. Okay guys, so I'm gonna set these ramps up and I've just checked the wheelbase on the bike. It's somewhere around 65 inches uh, and that puts me in a pretty good shape. So I'll put my back tire probably centered about just a little bit on the tailgate. All right, so let me get these uh, ramps out and set up. Well guys, let me take a minute to invite all of you to subscribe to our Get On The Road channel. It doesn't cost anything and it sure helps me and Roxy with our channel. So please take a minute, subscribe, and select the bell icon. You know, please leave a comment or a question. You know, even if it's nothing more than just to tell us where you're from, what country are you in, what city, state, province. You know, Roxy and me, we've ridden motorcycles in every country that we've lived in. And we really wanna to get to know all of you out there. And give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Guys, let's get back to my review of these Blackwood and motorcycle ramps. And what I've seen is the best way to do this, they're a little bit hard to handle, but if I take and just swing it out while resting one end on the tailgate and then laying it down, I think it goes on a lot easier and the weight's a lot easier to handle. So the middle runs a little bit wider than the two outers. And then this rests on these welded on angles. So you not only have the rod going through, but you already, you've also got these angles where they share the weight or distribute the weight. So one of the things I've been trying to do is, is have the ramps at the least amount of angle as possible. You know, the house typically has a driveway that slopes away from the house for water to run off. So I'm sure that this is slightly higher on the beginning of the ramp. Now I know this is probably overkill, but I wanted to be able to have a ratchet strap instead of one that just stretches and you know, just a single pull. So I'm gonna take off these ones that came with the ramps on the first time I load a bike. All right, that looks pretty stable. So that was pretty easy. 
it causes your rear end to pucker just a little. Now the next test I want to do is to bring the Black Pearl. Now it's going to be a little more wieldy being it's a little bit heavier bike, but if I follow the same pattern and then ride it on up into the bed of the pickup. The following day. All right, let's knock these ramps out. I'll strap them on. So what I like to do is just get the front wheel set and then I just motor up the center ramp. But just keep the momentum going is the only thing you have to do. Piece of cake, right? This helps with confidence more than anything. Yeah, it's all confidence. I think you get up there you know, just keep feathering the clutch like you would anything and just keep it moving. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, I rode it there last year, or year before last. I said, geez. So I think here, I just kind of feather it down with my front brake. And what gets me is the strength of this thing is pretty awesome. Yeah. And then when I get down here to the bottom, I think my that's where I lose my toe height. Just what the doctor ordered. Now, I will notice that it did pull this center ramp down some. That's not, oh guys, look at this. I think I should have hooked it on the center ramp. <laughs> That's not good. Well, no, I should have hooked them both in here. I was thinking I need to put them in here, but right there is where I needed to have them. I'm glad I, I'm glad I learned that lesson. Not the hard way. But yeah, that, that was the whole idea is when you're riding up, you just, that back wheel will spin. So it's not a matter of this rod holding it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was not smart, was it? Now let me share a few closing thoughts on my review of these Black Widow ramps. First, let's talk about quality. You know, I grew up in a household where my father's business was all about welding. And I'll tell you, I, I went over these ramps in close detail, and I looked specifically at the fit, 
the finish, and the quality of the welds. My dad used to say if, if the weld looks like it's penetrating and it looks like a stack of dimes that have been pushed over on their side, then the welder had a steady hand and, and put a nice continuous weld over the seam. And welding aluminum is not easy, and so I've looked at these, they look really nice. So quality, fit, finish, all of these get a high rating from me. Now let me share a very important warning. If you look earlier in my video here, you'll see where I talk specifically about how and where to connect these straps to the center ramp only. You know, a few days after that, when I took the truck over to load the Black Pearl, you'll notice that I latched it on to the outside ramps. Big mistake. So guys, follow the instructions, attach your straps to the center section of the three ramps. Now let's talk about performance. These ramps are rated at 1,500 pounds when they are pinned together and they're used correctly. You know, the Black Pearl is approaching 900 pounds, if not more, for a set of ramps that is designed to take the load of a heavy motorcycle like this Harley Limited. And with very little flex, it did the job. I felt very confident riding up into the truck with these ramps. Now let me share my final uncompensated review. I would highly recommend the purchase of these ramps. If you have a Harley or a Cruiser, heavy bike, the design is ideal. It will take the load. These have a nice camber in them and allows you to have a very minimal slope angle into the pickup. I think they're safe, quality is there. I'm very happy with this purchase and I would highly recommend these Black Widow ramps to you. So guys, thanks for coming along, thanks for watching. If you'll subscribe, next time you will be able to get on the road with me and Roxy.